Welcome back to Magento Mechanics. In today's lesson, we're going to learn how to change the HTML to our site. Uh, our site is made up of different pages. We have our home page, we have our contact us page, we have customer pages and product pages. Each of these pages are actually made up of many, many smaller pages. Each of these pages has a template, and in this template it contains the HTML that we need to uh, change in order to create our site. So just for example, let's say for example this my cart here. This uh, section right here with the you have no items added in your shopping cart is actually a template which deals with all the HTML for that. The compare products is a separate template. In Magento, these are called blocks. Um, our page are made up of blocks. As you can see, there's one, two, three, four blocks right here, maybe a fifth one. And then there's a parent block. The sidebar is just a one big block that contains smaller blocks inside of them. And each block essentially has a template associated with it. Uh, but before we get ahead of ourselves, let's just talk about some of the templates themselves and how we can go about changing it. So today we're going to go ahead and try to change our uh, account login page. We're going to add a little uh, uh, piece of text underneath this paragraph here. We're going to want to add something new underneath. And we want to essentially give another message to the customers who want to log in, or actually who want to register, excuse me, for our site and create an account. Uh, to do that, we're going to go ahead and find the file. We're going to show you where the file is, and then we're going to edit it. But before we do that, we would like to go ahead and log into the admin for a second. Uh, we want to change something before we start messing around with stuff. We have, um, Magento has this cache management which makes our site run a little quicker uh, and because it caches all the different results for stuff. But when we make changes to our site, we want to disable the cache. This is because sometimes we'll make a change and we won't see it on the front end and we're going to wonder why we don't see it and it's because our cache is enabled and it wasn't, invalid, it wasn't refreshed yet. So we'd like to, in general, we're going to keep it disabled hopefully uh, for the rest of these lessons, um, but for now, let's just go ahead and disable it, and let's go find uh, let's go find this file, uh, this template. Now, in this lesson, we're not going to cover about how to find every template. We're going to do that in future lessons, but I just want to show you where templates are located and how we could find and edit those templates. So, till now, we've been looking mostly in skin the skin folder. This has both mostly been the CSS and the images for our different parts of our site. And in the last time we were messing around in the app design folder when we created our own theme. Um, we go to app design and then in there we're looking into the front end of the site. And we're in our default package. And we have new age. We created last lesson new age. Let's just make sure that we're still currently running new age. Let's go to our, um, let's go to our configuration. And check our design. Yes, we're currently running new age for our templates and for our skin. Let's make sure there was no design changes made. Nope, there's no uh, records found. So let's go back here, and we're going to want to uh, edit the template for this customer login. Now, we know that there's nothing in this new age folder because everything is being used from our fallback mechanism. So our fallback is default. Let's see, in default, no, there's no folder called templates in here. So it's not in default. And the last resort that Magento goes to is its base package and then default. As you can see over here is templates. And the file we're looking for is in a folder called persistent, and then customer, and then login. As you can see, there's a lots of folders here. Each folder contains multiple different uh, files and sometimes subfolders that contain all the stuff for, for our templates for our site. This one is covering the login or create account. If you see, we're going to highlight for you this text here. You see, this is the login or create account section of the page. Now, before we make any changes, we don't want to make any changes to our uh, base default theme. The reason is, is because if something goes wrong, uh, we're not going to be able to fix it. We don't want to have to rely on backups and stuff like that. We want to be able to fall back on it if we need to. So what we need to do is we actually need to copy and paste all this information into our current theme. I'm going to show you how we're going to go ahead and do that. Um, we're going to go into our new age and we're going to create a new folder uh, called templates template, I'm sorry. And we just have to mimic the file structure. We're look, we now need a folder called persistent. Um, let's just make a new folder under template called persistent. And what we're essentially doing is, is we're recreating everything that's in the default, in the base default. Um, and we're just going to take nitpick the file that we want to change. 
going to make another directory called customer. So we now have uh, in Nuid we have templates and in their template and then in their the persistent folder and then the customer folder. And then in customer, we want form. Let's make a new directory called form. Now this looks like a lot of work to edit a template, but the idea behind this is, is that it actually saves you time in the long in the long run. Because whenever something goes wrong, you can always rely on uh, on on your base default. And furthermore, if we make any changes to our base default and we then upgrade Magento, all those updates will be overwritten and we don't want that to happen. So let's make a new file here called login.phtml. And let's just copy and paste all the text in here. We're just going to copy and paste it. And in order to see that it's working, we're going to actually add an exclamation mark here. Let's see if it's working. As you can see, our exclamation mark came up. This means that it's using now, instead of using the base default for this particular file, it's actually using our new age. So we're in our login here. So let's change it and, and uh, remove the exclamation mark and let's add another, um, another, another paragraph at the end of this line, at the end of, at the end of this uh, section here on the new customer section. We're gonna add over here, um, sign up now and start saving. As you see, it has now popped up, it's right here. And changing the HTML on this is relatively simple. It was one template file, and then this template file controls this page, or this, this section of the page. And once we make that change, it's automatically reflected on the front end. We don't have to do anything else. And we also have our fallback in case we want to go back to our original. We can upgrade Magento, and we are upgrade proof right now. I hope you enjoyed this lesson, and can't wait to see you next time.